Hi everybody. I have a quick video. Mommy Brown has fired up the internet with his mama's cooking, his mama's seasoning, and he is really putting it on. These men. The women been putting it on these women, these men for a while. Cynthia G, one of them. She's the main one. And, and why is that? Because men been putting it on the women first. Started with, for what I heard, Phil Collins, Tommy Marsoda, and some of them people all the time. The problem is, many women can't meet in the middle and agree on nothing. Because men are always right and women are always wrong. A man can tell a woman what her faults are. Well, he don't want to hear nothing about what his faults are concerning her. So, we see the women putting it on Porsche. This Porsche dragon thing has been burning the internet for a couple of weeks. But y'all are totally done, tired of this. Especially when the men come on, like on Sorrell's work. Just come on that now. I can see you dragging somebody's behavior. But for a man to go all the way into a woman's vagina, open her drawers, as Portia say, stay out of my drawers, get out of my drawers. But they don't think, they don't think they have to do that. So what do they do? Just drag this woman for the filth she's not. I sick of the women clicks and views and making money off of that, off of each other. Now, these men are making money off of each other. Kwame Brown said, let's eat. He said, everybody go eat. Kaya, Kaya did that, said, let everybody eat. And then she stopped scratching people. Kwame said the same thing. You know, eat for now. But he only gonna allow certain people to play his videos. And I'm here for it. I am here for it. I was so sick of the internet that I would look on. I want to look at Bitcoin stuff like that. That's what I look at because the internet is so boring with women attacking women. Men attacking women in the most disgusting way. But one thing I like about Kwame, Kwame respects women. He got on Angela Yee, he got on Janelle. He got on, uh, the room to be on right now. But, he got on Angela Yee today. He said, he can't talk about her the way he talk about those men. So, I think he's going to get his sisters on her. But, he let her know, women, mind your business. That's why I ain't all of me, Kwame, business, making no videos about no Kwame this, Kwame that, uh, whatever. Let the men do that. The women been doing it to each other which I found tiresome. She will get along already. And I find it disgusting the way the men, is, certain men is on women. Tired of it, totally disgusting. Kwame is on men that been on him for 20 years. I'm here for it. <laughs> it's fresh. It's not something you see. All because Charlemagne did the wrong thing. And now Charlemagne, Charlamagne ain't going down. Well, he did that Jessica girl. And been getting away with it. He went, he did the wrong thing. When he brought up Kwame family. Now, his time is up. For real. Because everybody is back on this Jessica thing. So, it's, it's a buzz for Charlemagne. He just cracking me up with Mark Box. I never, I didn't know who no Kwame was. Hey, cause I, I know Lakers, but I don't know Kwame. I don't know Matt Barnes. Only Lakers I know because I'm old school. Um, Michael Jordan, um, Shaq, um, if I get it wrong, as far as what team they play on, but anyway, uh, what's the other one? Michael Jordan, Shaq, and the one playing now, LeBron James. I used to like LeBron James, because I said, look, I, I said LeBron James, LeBron James was going to Lakers to play with on the Bulls boy. 
But it disappointed me when we went over there because they did the Lavar son. Well, his name, can't remember right now, the oldest boy. What they did to him is exactly what they did to Kwame when he was 18. They did it to him. I find the Lakers disgusting. So I stopped watching my favorite team of 35 years. I was pregnant with my first child when I started walking it, or watching the Lakers. I, I was in college and they had nothing to do. I was sitting in the bed with a big belly watching the Lakers game. And that's how I become a Lakers fan. They're not my fans no more because I don't like how they did. The boy named almost came, Lonzo Ball. I don't like how they did him, because Lonzo Balls, and I said that LaVar had thing going, and he proved me true. They ruined that boy, just like they did Kwame. And now Kwame put them all in their place, and I'm here for it. I don't got nothing to do. Disabled for years, MS, blindness, got to have some surgery on my eyes, sitting here in my yard, by my air conditioner outside, we cooling in a hot, hot behind house off. Sitting out here ready to do this video because I've been watching this man a week and I'm not ready to say so because I can't just open my mind about something when I have it formed that perspective and opinion myself. But this is my opinion. Kwame, <laughs> you got me watching this. I can't, I, I, I can't stop watching this man. I was all over the place catching his lies, watching him and listening to all the people comments about him. Two people I cannot stand because, first of all, I think it's, I'm trying to figure out why I stopped watching hip-hop, these hip-hop two guys on it. I wonder why I unsubscribe from them. And he reminded me why I unsubscribe from him. Talking about women. I don't know which one said it. I don't know if it, it was, I think, I don't know if it was Mind Over Matter or the hip-hop two men with their laptops. I don't know if it was one of, the, one of those said, well, women lie too. What it's got to do with us? We don't got nothing to do with this. Keep us women out of this. This is y'all men fight. Or oh, women lie too. Don't got nothing to do with us. Y'all attack that Kwame man. Y'all attack Kwame Brown. And y'all didn't believe Jessica when Jessica came out with her documentary that choke, no joke. I remember they giving it all a star. I saw it three years ago when it came. I didn't see the whole thing. I went back and watched it when he showed it, the whole thing. Now I hear the mother part. I feel so sad for that woman. And the reason I can feel sad for her, because my daddy did the same thing when we were young. He told a young man, you take my daughters from the house, I expect you to bring them back the way you took them. It's me and my sister, we were young. Mm. I was in college at the time, 18, 19. My sister, she was like 17, 18. And even at that age, my dad would, my daddy would have whipped you away and put a bullet in wherever hell he looked and say well, he gonna put bullets in people. That's what he would have done. And he'd take us from the house and even though they hang out with all men that smoking a little reef and whatever, they never let nobody mess it up. We came back home the way they prophet. So I understand that country thing when that mother said, you bring my daughter back the way you find her. He promised all that. And this dude, this guy, I won't call his name, he brought us back the way our daddy took. And they tell me if they was going to do something we don't need to be around, they didn't. But the bottom line is, he brought us back the way he took us. And he didn't let nobody touch. They got all these male friends meeting up at the McDonald's and whatever with these, whatever. Nothing happened to us. And when a dude had something to say, my brother wanted to get in his behind. Everybody got in his behind. Oh, no, uh-uh, you don't see nothing there. That's what should have happened to Jessica. So I understand Jessica mama when a when a country dude, when you tell a country dude, my daddy tell him. Because we raised our mom and daddy and married. Apparently Jessica ain't had no daddy there. So she, she promised the mama. So y'all I mean your time is up for this. It's up. You done got away with it for a while. <laughs> like Kwame say, you got away with it. Anyway, that's it for this video, and I will be back later with some more of my perspective. Bye.